there's going to be a guy who's not so lucky. We're talking maybe even someone who could die because of one of these injuries. I mean, it, it could be very serious. We've had Brandon McCarthy's in a life-threatening state right now. Most people, I mean, it looks like he's going to come out of it. We can pray at the moment. But there have been some other guys who've been hit in the head off with line drives, and, you know, it's been awful. You know, especially even hitters. Hitters who get hit in the head with by guys throwing 90 miles an hour can sometimes have very serious injuries, and they're wearing helmets. So pitchers getting hit in the head with these line drives has got to be even worse. So that's just my thought. I think pitchers should have, you know, should MLB should open to its mind having some sort of protection for pitchers so that we don't have more of these injuries. We're not talking just, you know, elbow surgery. We're talking a life-threatening disease. Anyway, that's my thought on that. So, we're about almost out of time, so we are going to... Oh, uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break before we wrap it up with my power rankings. All right, we're back, and I said we're going to go to my power rankings, and we have one more topic before we go there. We're going to talk the award races in the AL and NL. Of course, this is probably not the main focus of people right now. They're either, they're either watching college football, NFL, or if you're an MLB fan, you're probably focused on the races. But we've gone over this, I've gone over this a few times on earlier shows, and this is just an updated thing, so we're going to start off in the AL at the moment. AL MVP, I said a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, Mike Trout, I don't think you can say much has changed. He leads the league in average, 328, just barely edging out Miguel Cabrera, who is another M candidate, he leads the league in runs. Not up there in home runs, didn't quite have that type of power. And not up there in RBIs, but he also leads the league in stolen base. So I think it's going to be him up there with uh, Miguel Cabrera for the other one. But I don't think you can discount Cabrera. He's had a great season as, as well. He's got 35 home runs, 326. You know, and if Mike, Mike Trout's been cooling down a little bit. He's not exactly where he was before. But I... You know, I think he's still the MVP right now with all he's done and the fact that he's a rookie. But you watch out for Miguel Cabrera because he's a very strong hitter. And if the and if he really pushes the Tigers into that wild card spot, which I think they're going to be, I don't think that you can really count him out for MVP. I think he's going to finish second, second if he puts a strong end of the season together. He could be first. AL Cy Young. Let's go to pitching now. A while ago, a lot of people would have said it's Jared Weaver. He has fallen a little bit. He no longer leads the league in, in ERA. He is the leader in whip. He's not up there in strikeouts is one thing. And he's third, and he's up there in wins as well. I think that you still probably have to give it to Jared Weaver. He's having a great year. 286 ERA. Is up there with David Price and Felix Hernandez. Just beyond them, he leads the league in WHIP. He's not up there in strikeouts, but he's third in the league in wins, tied for second actually with Chris Sale, who's having another phenomenal. He's having a phenomenal year for the White Sox. I, you know, even a lot of people say, "Oh, the Cy Young and MVPs has gone from a winning team." I don't think you can really say that. You know, even oh well, you know, I shouldn't say that yet because the Angels are still in it, but. You know, I, I I don't think much has changed from a few months ago. I mean, uh, uh, some other guys I put up there, David Price probably second, Chris Sale, and then Felix Hernandez probably fourth for me. And, and this is subject to change. I mean, Weaver hasn't been pitching as well as he was earlier, but I think he's probably still my Cy Young. So I wouldn't be surprised to see both the, or all three, the Rookie of the Year, the MVP, and the Cy, AL Cy Young all come from the Angels, even if they don't make the playoffs. Let's move on to the NL now. NL MVP. This is a tough one. Andrew McCutcheon is no longer leading the league, or he is second in the league in batting average. But then again, we gotta remember first is Melky Cabrera, who suspended. I don't think he's gonna be winning MVP anytime soon. We said a while ago, Andrew McCutcheon. Yeah, I think it's gonna probably be him again. 
I mean, he he's got he's th- hitting three forty one. He's got not he scored ninety five runs. Ryan Braun is also up there. You can't forget about Ryan Braun. He doesn't nearly have the average of McCutcheon or any of those guys. But he's, he's second in runs in the league. He's first in home runs and second in RBIs. It's got to be between them them two for MVP. Don't forget about uh, Carlos Beltran either. You know, not exactly a guy that's up there, but he's been good for the Cardinals also. He has He's slowed down a little bit lately, but still have been having a good year. Few other guys. Buster Posey has Buster Posey's having another good year. Uh, yeah, it's you know that's about it. Braun McCutcheon and really Braun McCutcheon. Yeah, it's about and Beltron, I guess if you want to put him in, he's fallen a little bit lately, as I said, but he's still a legit contender. And now let's move on to the NL Cy Young. See, NL Cy Young for me is a close one. You know, at the moment, I probably got to go Kershaw. He's having a really good year, as usual. Not up there in wins, but he's number one in strikeouts. He's the first, he was the first one to 200 strikeouts in the NL. His ERA is pretty low at 279. That's third in the league behind Johnny Cueto, guys, having a good year. It's not getting a lot of credit. And his whip is up there as well as with the Dodgers. Now, of course, the Dodgers aren't in the playoffs at the moment. They're a few games back of the Giants. And I'm one of those guys that doesn't believe that the Cy Young or MVP has to come from a winning team. And I think Kershaw's probably been the best pitcher in the league. A few other guys got to be up there. R.A. Dickey, he's been having a great year all year. You know, the knuckleballer, he's had the hype. Johnny Cueto, as I said, is having another good year. Uh, Gio Gonzalez. This is a guy that's not also getting not not getting a lot of credit. When the Nationals got him from the A's in the offseason, I thought it was going to be one of those moves that was kind of just to get another arm the rotation. He had been good for the A's, but then again, that's a pitcher's ballpark, and he'd never really been spectacular. But he's having a really good year. But I think Kershaw's still the winner in the NL for me. All right, so now we're going to close it out, as always, with the power rankings. We're going to jump right into that. Number five for me. This is a team that hasn't been in my top five so far this year. Not one of the NAR, AL, or NL wildcard leaders. But even though at the beginning I didn't believe in them, I've come to believe in them now. The Oakland A's. 79-60, almost 80 wins. The only team not on my list with 80 wins. But they have, they are 7-3. and three. <coughs> Excuse me. With a... Or seven and three in the last ten games, seventy nine and sixty. I don't believe they're gonna make the playoffs, even though they've won three straight and they've been hot lately. They had a nine game win streak, then got swept by the Angels. Now have come back hot again. They just beat Seattle today. Don't think they're gonna make the playoffs, but right now they're one of the best teams in baseball. Number four, Texas. Yes, they are gonna make the playoffs out of the NL or AL West. One of the best teams in baseball at the moment. Uh, even you know, even though they've gone to the World Series and lost two straight times, it wouldn't be surprised to see him go for a third straight time. Who knows? Might, might even win it this year. They've been on my power rankings so far all all three times. They're having a good year. I think they're gonna. They almost have that AL West locked up. You know, the A's aren't that far back. Only three and a half games. But really, it's gonna. The Texas Rangers haven't. Played really that how they haven't really had a bad streak at all this year. It's gonna take a lot for them to lose that hold in the AL West, and I think they're gonna win that division pretty easily. Number three, Cincinnati Reds. That's the third best team in baseball right now at the moment, in my opinion. They have won 84 games. That is second in the league, second best record in all baseball. Even though they're number three, we'll get to that later. They're five and five in the last ten. They've lost one. They they have the biggest lead out of any team in all in all of baseball for their division. Eight and a half games over St. Louis. They unless you know, barring a major collapse by them, and I mean major, major collapse. They you could almost you know put a lock on it for them. They're almost surely going to the playoffs. They'll probably end up as the second best team. In the NL, 
So it'll be interesting to see if we come up with the NLCS of the Reds and the Nationals, who we'll get to in a minute. That'd be interesting to watch. Number two, not not the best record in baseball, not really not the third best record, not the fourth best record, but the Atlanta Braves, for me, are number two. They have won five straight games, seven and three in their last ten games. They are red hot at the moment. They are forced to be reckoned with. You know, some people say I put them a little high, but you got to factor in how they've been playing lately. They are one. They are probably one of the best teams in baseball of late. The Angels have won six straight, so they're probably one of the hottest at as well at the moment. But you know, even though they don't have a division lead, even though they don't have the second or third or first best record in baseball, for me, they're the second best team at the moment. They are carving. They are carving up their opponents. Number one. Who else but the Washington Nationals? Best record in baseball, 86 and 54. They were seven and three in the last ten. Lost to Miami today, but they had a great one yesterday. They had a big, big delay in the ninth inning, and then right when they came back, Jason Worth tied the game off Heath Bell, who has had just an awful year for the Marlins, who are in last place at the moment and are officially eliminated from contention. But anyway. Nationals, best team in baseball, 86 and 54, no question at the moment. The only team with a winning percentage above 600, 614. Best team in baseball, wouldn't be surprised to see them go to the World Series for the first time in their franchise history. Franchise, of course, including the Expos. That's been about it for Major League Talk. Thank you for listening. I know you probably... What, you want to watch football at the moment? I know I'm even watching it, as I said. 3 nothing Pittsburgh right now over Denver. But if you tuned in, I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to Baseball Major League Talk with Nathan Salzman. That's me. Uh, anyway, you've heard my predictions for baseball. Let's go. Now you can go watch the, some baseball right now. Sunday Night Baseball's on. Go watch it. So, multitask with football. Thanks for listening. See you next time.